Today I got an email from, uh, wait a minute, we don't do that kind of stuff here on this channel. What do I think of the most top five recirculated videos and photos out there? We're going to check that out right here next on Deep Dive. So at number five is the Sonoma video, also known as the Penn and Teller hoax. This happened in late 2005 when supposedly this gentleman posted this video to this quickly made up free website saying that he had captured the elusive Sasquatch walking through the woods in Sonoma, California. As it turned out, it was actually a basically a setup for Penn and Teller show BS. I'm not going to say the swear word, but... There you have it. There's the costume right there. All fake. Definitely done for a show. So let's move on to the next one. At number four is the creature of the giant sequoias, also known as the Sean Bannon hoax. Now, back in the early 2000s, a filmmaking student by the name of Sean Bannon did a documentary for his school project called Creature of the Giant Sequoias, and it featured a Bigfoot, including a Bigfoot, here, jumping off a ledge, chasing the so-called uh, campers or expeditioners or whatever you want to call them. But anyway, as it turned out, much, much later, Sean admitted, hey, th this is not a real creature. This is our representation. But it was really some good, good work. At number three is the Bigfoot Peeper. Now, we've seen this circulating, and sometimes the hoaxer himself has even recirculated this on Facebook to different groups. Fact is that the person who actually shot this was testing AI or testing some kind of app uh, several years back. This gentleman merely just took a few several snaps of it and made this elaborate story, which really didn't make any sense. But anyway, the gentleman here... John Yeoman, convicted felon, definitely a hoax. You see it popping around, don't believe it. Act number two is the Mississippi Skunk Ape video. This came out a few years back by a man by the name of Josh Highcliffe. Now, we know from checking databases that Josh Highcliffe does not exist here in the continental United States. But the other interesting thing is, is that we found Highcliffe's name as a character in a TV program called The Beast of the Bayou. The program only lasted four episodes. The actor was reached out to by a Mike Kuehler, and the actor said, no, this is all made up for that particular episode of The Beast of the Bayou. As good as it looks, that too is fake. And of course, it was done by Hollywood. And at number one is Todd Standing. Anything Todd Standing. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of heat for this, but, you know, it's been throughout history. People don't remember when Todd first came out way back in 2004. I was around. I was already around for five years at that time. And already his stories he were putting out there really sounded suspect. And as we progress throughout the years, we only have head. A lot of times we just have headshots of these things, you know, and there's some fleeting glimpses of some certainly questionable figures in, in the frames. But the bottom line is this. It's a YouTuber happened to catch a little interesting fact on him and here it is so we walked over to todd's truck as he was getting ready and i don't know if he wasn't expecting us to walk over that fast or what but as i approached i saw the blonde girl he was with in the back seat holding like a gorilla glove like the kind you'd get at a halloween store or something very suspicious over here. What, what was up with the, the that Sasquatch glove in the back seat? I, I don't know. That was I'm gonna definitely grill him on that one. So. Yeah. What was the deal with the this the Sasquatch glove? Oh, just my brother-in-law. It was a joke. He was yeah. just with me. Shortly thereafter, why would Todd need a pair of gorilla gloves or Sasquatch gloves? 
Well, in his documentary, all over Amazon Prime, Discovering Sasquatch, guess what? He's got a video of a, a Sasquatch hand coming over and grabbing an apple that he's posing as real. Doesn't that sound kind of bizarre and odd and a little bit suspect himself? So if somebody sounds suspect, it's time to shove them aside and move on to what's real. And of course, let's talk about some honorable mentions here. First is the M.K. Davis massacre theory. That, my friends, is nothing but wild postulation over something he perceives he sees in a film. And that comes up every few years, and the debate rages on. It's not real. It's not based on any fact. It's based on presumption. Next up is Sasquatch Ontario. Of course, Daryl Strum, a few years back, outed Mike Patterson, who runs Sasquatch Ontario, that these were nothing but Daryl making these vocalizations. Next up, of course, we have his Jeff Patterson, the Squatch Master. And he was outed many, many years ago by Tim Stover and that tree shaking videos where if you'd zoomed in, it was actually his kid shaking the tree. And he was trying to pose that off. He also tried to pose off a dead baby Bigfoot and all kinds of other malarkey. He has since kind of moved off to the paranormal now where now he's their problem. And finally, of course, is anything searching for Bigfoot or Tom Biscardi. Now, he's been quiet for a while, but word out is that he's on the road somewhere, and I'm sure he's going to be back in April or February or March with a whole new bunch of stories that are just out of this world. Don't believe it. Anyway, folks, that's my top five with some honorable mentions. If you like what we do here, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and if you really like what we do here, consider joining the channel as a member. Only starts at 99 cents, and it's a really good time there. So anyway, folks, be safe, keep healthy, keep on squatching, and we'll catch you all here next time on Squatch DTV.